Let's do this one. There is a song that is jumping up the charts. It has actually reached number one on Billboard's hot hard rock chart. None of that fat and ugly hard rock. We're talking about the hottest hard rock. And so my producers heard this song and they said, Michael, you're very hip to the jive. You're one cool cat. We need you to listen to this song so that you can analyze it for us and tell us what it means. Before we do that, I've got to thank our wonderful friends over at Kami Kodo. Kami Kodo. This is a documentary so far. A bunch of zombies. Well, for the past two years, I guess that would basically be a documentary, too. The monsters are living under your bed Cause they are the voices in your head If this turns out to be a COVID thing, that'll be so great. I'm actually somewhat hopeful this is about COVID. Oh, pause. Okay, so this is obviously an extremely conservative song, right? They've got, you have the censor bar. So it's, there's this anti-censorship thing, and then they're canceling you. The only people who use the phrase cancel in an earnest way are conservatives because the libs deny that they cancel anybody. So, okay, so now I'm, I, I'm willing to predict this is actually just an anti-Fauci screed. Mirrors are kind of an interesting image. You gotta shut your mouth and bite your tongue, cause you don't wanna piss off anyone. You're traumatized by the damage done. Welcome to America. Pause. So this is interesting because usually the, the rock songs that are anti-America are coming at it from the left. Like America's this terrible, oppressive, right-wing, patriarchal, white supremacist place, and we need to totally change America to make it better. But, and this song keeps up the rock and roll, something's wrong with the country, we're fighting against the system. But what's different is they, they appear to be recognizing that the system is actually run by the liberals. It's not, you're, you're not actually, if you're a lib fighting for more lib things, you're not fighting against the system. Everyone is on your side. The government, the media, the schools, the, the uh, administrative government, all of the universities, big tech, all the corporations. So you're not really doing that. This is, this is quite a shift. I've only noticed this within the last few years, that it's, it's become quite clear that the liberals control the entire, entire country. They even use this word hypnosis here, which I don't know when the video was made. It was probably made a, a while ago, but within the past few weeks, you haven't even been allowed to use the phrase mass hypnosis or mass formation psychosis to describe what's going on in the last two years because all of the libs who were hypnotizing you and driving everyone. Silent Bob, why is he a clown? What did he say that makes you mad? I don't understand. That's his perception of my song, man. It's not, I didn't write the song about political shit, but I mean, it's so, cr it's so crazy. It just goes to show you everybody that immediately just calls this person a, a bad guy the second, the second he says anything that, that is not in your wheelhouse of beliefs. I just don't understand why people don't realize that you're the problem. You're the problem. All he's doing is stating uh, some of the st stuff he's saying is facts, bro. The song's not about politics, but music is objective. So whatever he thinks the song's about is what the fucking song's about to him, right? That's just how it is. 
that's why music is is uh, a you know what I mean like people we listen to a song that's not written about that and we automatically relate it to that you can't just fucking call somebody a clown because you don't agree with them man so that's a little embarrassing and crazy or or responding to that and saying no beep boop no psychosis, no beep, beep, boop, no hypnosis. I'm getting very sleepy, but there's no hypnosis. And the musicians here are recognizing, obviously, something has gone wrong. Um, it's not about politics. The song's obviously about fucking... I mean, you know what? At the bottom of... At the end of the day, that the song is probably about politics because of cancel being canceled and people not allowed to say saying what they feel anymore and all that stuff. And it probably goes all the way back to politics somehow but my intention to write the song was more about fucking you know the very obvious people getting upset and trying to cancel people for fucking freedom of speech and stuff like that and being scared that you, that something that you said a long time ago is going to be brought up and you're going to get fired and it's happened to people people get fucking outed for something they did or tweeted or something 10 12 years ago when it was okay back then you know what i mean it, ha it happened it's deeper than that. It's deeper, but I understand what, why he would think this now. I didn't think about it before, but when they put it in this perspective, I understand why people would think like, why like this. Fellas, I have the perfect gift. I've been honed knives off any... This is setting up a sequel song about immigration. You see, the first one is clearly about COVID. You see what I mean? He's clearly fucking joking, dude. Guys, he's just a political dude. And the, the liberal... You imagine if we made a song about immigration? <laughs> just clamping down on all of us. and then But now the next one is going to be the illegal alien invasion. That I, I'm, It's either a prediction or a plea. Please make it. I love, too, that the solution to this is not some too clever by hack. you imagine, bro? Oh my god, dude, I'd be... I'd be... That would be the worst move in my career that I've ever done. Worse than throwing a mic stand. Made a song about UFOs, but illegal immigrants trying... Getting... So oh my god, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh, dude. Half way of resolving the issue in this very... No, and you just shoot the zombies in the head. Metaphorically. <laughs> the UFOs are border patrol. They're just flying up and they're just sucking up all the immigrants. Could you imagine? <laughs> oh my God. What a terrible idea. See, that's when that's when these motherfuckers take it too far. Holy shit. Clearly he's joking. Clearly, guys. Pumping us with lies like it's formaldehyde. That's a good line. like Godzilla. Huh? Wow. I really like this idea, not only because of the simplest reading of it, which is 
basically that the libs have surrendered their free thought and their faculties of reason and they just do whatever Dr. Fauci tells them to do and they walk around like zombies. There's a great old clip of Bob Hope who was, was uh, talking to a doctor and, and the doctor said, uh, you know, zombies, they have no will of their own. They just uh, wander around uh, blindly doing whatever you tell them to do, not thinking, not caring. And Bob Hope says, you mean like Democrats? It's a clip that always goes around every, every election season. So it's, it's not merely saying that. It's saying something even deeper. They are pumping us full of formaldehyde. Right? They're, they're killing us. They're treating us like we're dead bodies, but we're still reanimated. We're still kind of moving around. We just don't have any free will. We're, not, we're existing, but we're not really living. And that is... A, a great way to describe what's happened for the past two years with COVID. Not merely that people got brainwashed or hypnotized, but that we have been deprived the opportunity really to live. Can't go to work, can't go to church, can't go shopping in a lot of places. We st still, we can't go to a lot of restaurants now, especially if you're not willing to take the Fauci ouchie. You Philosophos, how, is he, how does he not make much sense? How does he not make much sense? He makes perfect sense. He's right, mostly. I'm not a Republican or a Democrat, but he's fucking right, bro. He is right. Obviously, you don't live in cities where they fuck, they're still making you try to wear a fucking mask. Or they're literally making you get your fourth injection, trying to convince you that COVID's going to kill you. You know? He's right. In, in a sense, what's reasonable stuff to do during a pandemic? Do you call this a pandemic? It's not a pandemic. They named it that. It's over. You guys, you just don't get me started, man. Do not get me started. Yeah, there's a fourth injection. Yes, coming. Yes. Tell me like this. Tell, tell me tell me this. Israel has how many injections has Israel given out? They're the highest vaccinated country in the world with the highest uh, vaccination deaths in the world. Just look at it like that. Look at Canada, exactly. I went on tour. I went on tour and that's when I realized and that I wasn't mad before cuz I was in LA and I didn't tour during the pandemic or so whatever you want to call it and then I went on tour and that's when I got mad when I realized it's all yeah it's all about the fucking money Sean thank you for, thank you for the 10 it's all about the money dude why do you think they're fucking trying to prove vaccinations and and children under five years old get the fuck out of here man children are not susceptible to fucking dying from covid and if, and if children die from COVID, it's a very, a very small percentage of children. Why are they approving vaccines for children under five? It's unacceptable. Think about it, dude. The children are not dropping dead from COVID. It's fucking, it's fucking fat people, uh, pardon my French, and people with underlying illnesses like, like the flu, like what the flu does, kills people that are overweight or with fuck you know what I mean underlying Ill illnesses it's just worse than the flu you know it's worse to some people but the bottom line is it's fucking whack I went on tour and I realized that's when I realized and it made me mad and I became fucking very upset because like in one city ja Jackson thank you Shane is thank you man in in one city you'd go from one city to next and we're here to learn, right? And this is what the way I learned. Uh, I let I left California and went to I don't remember where I went. I went to Atlanta. Nobody's wearing a mask. Nobody's wearing a mask. You don't. Nobody gives a fuck about masks there. Then you wake up and you're in Boston and people are losing their fucking minds. They're freaking out. Oh, put your mask on. Put your mask on. Put your mask on. After I just came from Atlanta, right? And you're like, huh? And they're like, so you're, you can't come in here unless you have a vaccine card. It's like, bro, so you mean to tell me the, the thing, I have to get a vaccine card, I have to get a vaccine vaccination to come into your thing, a vaccination that doesn't stop or prevent uh, me from giving COVID to someone else. It just 
lessens my symptoms, they say. So I could still give the COVID to other people. Like, what? You're forcing me to do It just doesn't make any sense, man. And then you wake up and you go to another city and they're like, oh, we don't care about masks. We don't care about masks. We don't care about that stuff. Then you wake up and I would go to another city and they'd be freaking losing their mind. You can't come in here. You can't get, a, you can't get food. You're not, you can't get food. You, you can't come in here. I'm like, bro, I just woke up. I was in a city before this fucking 10 hours ago and there was no issues. What in the fuck is going on? That's the problem. That's what people don't realize. So a lot of people that are like, oh, they're like all for the, the mask and all that stuff. They don't leave their fucking house. They don't leave their fucking cities. They don't travel for a living. They don't realize what – they don't see what's really going on. When you travel to each state in a pandemic, you'll start realizing. You'll be like, this is a fucking bullshit. It's bullshit. It is. So just to let you know that, man, just saying. That's probably why most people in bands are against the fucking mask and all that stuff. They think it's stupid, you know, because they traveled and they realized that you're like, what the fuck, bro? I just went to this gym. Nobody's wearing a mask. I wake up the next day at literally four, hour, four hours difference. Same, same population city. Nothing's changed except the four-hour difference, and they're fucking losing their minds. And then you look up their hospital rates, and they're the same. It's, like, not that crazy, you know. Um, so, yeah. I'm just saying. It takes 90 days to get COVID again. What do you mean? You, no, you can get flu, the flu, too, man. You can get the flu fucking two times a year. So I'm not, I'm not... I'm not Republican. That song's not about being a Republican or Democrat or any of that shit. I, I do not like politics. But he does have a point on some things, man. I don't really care. I don't really care about all the weird shit that you guys care about when it comes to that. <laughs> Truly, I don't. But, uh, <laughs> got the hiccups. 